learners a very warm welcome to all of you hope you all are doing well in the previous session on microbes in human welfare we discussed about microorganisms in general and their use in households and in industrial production in this session we will discuss microbes in organic acids amino acids organic solvents microbes in enzymes microbes in the formation of bioactive molecules like cyclosporin a statins vitamins steroids and microbes in household food processing like cheese yogurt bread butter etc microbes play a very important role in our day to day life they are both useful and harmful for human beings there are a large number of microbes which are pathogenic in nature and cause several diseases not only in human beings but also in other animals and plants some of them spoil our food products but on the other hand there is a large number of microbes which help to make our life more comfortable lively healthy and keep our planet clean thanks to their versatility microbes can be put to work in many ways making life saving drugs antibiotics vaccines vitamins hormones etc the manufacture of biofuels cleaning up pollution for example decomposers such as bacteria and fungi break down dead bodies and excreta to form inorganic compounds which can be absorbed by plants sewage treatment producing and processing food and drink to produce pigments solvents organic acids enzymes biofertilizers biopesticides instead of using dangerous chemicals and or inoculants to help plant proliferation to degrade harmful substances such as plastics alcoholic beverages dairy products bakery products so let's discuss microbes in organic acids organic acids are chemical compounds widely distributed in nature as normal constituents of plants or animal tissues organic acids represent a rising chemical segment in which several bio based compounds such as fumaric propionic and itaconic acids are synthesized organic acids constitute a key group among the building blocks chemicals that can be produced by microbial processes organic acids have been used for many years in the food chemical agriculture and pharmaceutical industries the chemical industries use organic acids as basic compounds for a wide variety of polymer and solvent production processes organic acids differ on the basis of the involvement of carbon hydrogen and oxygen elements major types of organic acid produced by microbial activity are citric acid succinic acid lactic acid itaconic acid lactobionic acid gluconic acid gallic acid fumaric acid propionic acid oxalic acid and acetic acid now we will discuss the synthesis of amino acids by using microbes the synthesis of amino acids and organic solvents can also be made using microbes the synthesis of essential amino acids such as l methionine l lysine l tryptophan and the non essential amino acids l glutamic acid are used today mainly for feed food and pharmaceutical industries the production of these amino acids is due to corny bacterium glutamicum and fermentation l glutamic acid had a high demand for the production because this amino acid is used to produce monosodium glutamate that is known as msg a food flavoring agent l lysine is used 
for the feeding of pigs and chicken as well as to treat nutrient deficiency in increasing energy in a patient and sometimes used to treat viral infections. Let's discuss the production of organic as solvents by using microbes. The production of organic solvents like acetone, butanol and isopropanol through fermentation was one of the very first things to be produced by using bacteria. Solvent fermentation uses a series of Clostridia bacterial species. Solvent fermentation at first was not as productive as it is used today. The amount of bacteria required to yield a product was high and the actual yield of product was low. Later technological advances were discovered that allowed scientists to genetically alter these strains to achieve a higher yield for these solvents. These clostridial strains were transformed to have extra gene copies of enzymes which are necessary for solvent production as well as being more tolerant to higher concentrations of the solvent being produced. Since these bacteria have a range of product in which they can survive in before the environment becomes toxic. Let's discuss the role of microbes in the production of enzymes. Enzymes are the biocatalyst. They play an important role in all stages of metabolism and biochemical reactions. Certain enzymes are utilized as organic catalyst in numerous processes on an industrial scale. Microbial enzymes are known to be superior enzymes obtained from different microorganisms, particularly for applications in industries on commercial scales. Many enzymes from microbial sources are already being used in various commercial processes. Selected microorganisms including bacteria, fungi and yeast have been globally studied for the biosynthesis of economically viable preparations of various enzymes for commercial applications. Some of the microbial enzymes useful to men are first is amylases. They have starch hydrolyzing activity. They are thermotolerant, produced from Bacillus subtilis, Aspergillus niger and Rhizopus oryzae. They are used in starch industry for liquefaction, paper, food industry that is for glucose and maltose syrups, high fructose corn syrups, clarified fruit juices, pharmaceutical industries that are for digestive aid, brewing industry for starch processing, textile industry for warp sizing of fibers, baking industry that is for delayed staling. Next enzyme is keratinase. They have keratin hydrolyzing activity. They have specific proteolytic activity for insoluble and fibrous proteins in furs, feathers, wool, hair. They are thermophilic alcoholophilic, oxidation resistant. They are produced from bacteria, actinomycetes and fungi. They are used in animal feed production, textile processing, detergent formulation, leather manufacturing, medicine etc. Next enzyme is xylanase. They have xylan pantose polymer hydrolyzing activity. They are extremophilic. Characteristics are alcoholophilic, thermophilic and thermostable enzymes. They are produced from thermoactinomyces, thalophilus bacillus species, humicola insolens, bispora acidophilic fungus. They are used in pantose production, bioconversion of hemicellulose for fuel and chemicals, fruit juice clarification, improving rumen digestion, paper industry, selective removals of xylans from craft that is pulp brewing industry. Next enzyme is cellulase. They are cellulolytic complex enzymes, sacrification of crystalline and amorphous cellulose, thermophilic, thermostable. They are produced from basidomycetes strains, polyporous species, pleurotus species, trichoderma species, aspergillus species. They are used in glucose feedstock from cellulose, biorefinery, bioethanol, paper pulp industry. Now come to next enzyme that is 
lignase. They are ligninolytic complex enzymes. They have oxidative properties in lignin peroxidase, manganese peroxidase, lacase. They are thermophilic. They are produced from basidiomycete strains that is stecherinum auracaceum, polyporous versicolor, panus tigrinus. They are used in denim washing, biosensors, biobleaching of craft pulp, bioremediation, pollution control, treatment of recalcitrant chemicals in textile and industrial effluents. Next is lipase. They have lipolytic activity. They are fat splitting, stereoselectivity, racemic resolution activity, solvents resistant. They are thermotolerant enzymes. They are obtained from yeast, fungal strains, candida lipolytica, aspergillus species, pancillium species, rhizopus mucus. They are used in detergents, dairy industry oils, fats, butter, cream, fat spreads, feed supplements, therapeutic agents. Next is proteases and peptidases. They have proteolytic activity. They are acidic, neutral, alkaline, thermophilic, active in presence of inhibitory compounds. They are obtained from Bacillus subtilis and Motorella renisophora. Pseudomonas, Clostridium, Rhizopus, Pancelium, Aspergillus. They are used in washing powders, detergents, tannery, food industry, leather processing, pharmaceuticals, molecular biology and peptide synthesis. Now come to next that is dextran sucrase. They are produced from leuconostoc mesenesteroids. They have use in commercial applications in clinical, pharmaceutical, food, photofilm, fine chemical and in industries. Next is lactase. It is a glycosidic hydrolase enzyme that cuts lactose into constituent sugars that is galactose and glucose. They are produced from Saccharomyces cerevisiae. Lactase is used commercially to prepare lactose free products particularly milk for such individuals. It is also used in the preparation of ice cream to make creamier and sweeter tasting products. Next enzyme is pectinase. They are manufactured from Bisocalamus fulvo. The pectinase enzymes are used for extracting juice from puree in textile industry for the retting and degumming of fiber crops, production of good quality paper, fermentation of coffee and tea, oil extractions and treatment of pectic wastewater. Next is invertase. They are obtained from Saccharomyces cerevisiae. Invertase is used for the inversion of sucrose in the preparation of invert sugar and high fructose syrup that is known as HFS. It is one of the mostly wide used enzymes in food industry where fructose is preferred than sucrose especially in the preparation of jams and candies because it is sweeter and does not crystallize easily. Next is pancillinase. They are produced from actinomyces candidus. Pancillinase has the property to inactivate beta lactam antibiotics that is pancillins and cephalosporins. It is useful for microbiological control of beta lactam antibiotics. Now, let's discuss the microbes in the formation of bioactive molecules. Microorganisms play an important role in the production of certain useful compounds and life-saving drugs. These are called bioactive molecules. They are comprised of many soluble molecules including growth factors, angiogenic factors, cytokines, hormones, DNA that is short interfering RNA, vitamins and immunosuppressant drugs which interact with and modulate the activity of a cell. Now first discuss cyclosporin A. It is produced by submerged fermentation of aerobic fungi identified as trichoderma polysporum but currently identified as Tolyploclidium inflatum since its discovery very few studies have been carried out to search for other microbial sources for its production. 
Cyclosporin A is an immunosuppressant medication and natural product. It is taken by mouth or by injection into the vein for rheumatoid arthritis, psoriasis, nephrotic syndrome and in organ transplants to treat and prevent graft versus host disease in bone marrow, bone marrow transplantation and to prevent rejection of kidney, heart and liver transplants. Next is statins. These bioactive molecules also known as HNG cofactor A, reductase inhibitors. They are produced by the yeast. Monasus purpureus belong to a class of lipid lowering medications that reduce illness and mortality in those who are at high risk of cardiovascular diseases. They inhibit the enzyme involved in cholesterol synthesis by competitive inhibition. They are the most common cholesterol lowering drugs. Next is low density lipoprotein that is LDL. They are the carriers of cholesterol. They play a key role in the development of atherosclerosis and coronary heart disease via the mechanisms described by the lipid hypothesis. Statins are usually used to lower blood cholesterol levels and reduce the risk for illness related to atherosclerosis. Clinical practice guidelines generally recommend people start with lifestyle modifications through a cholesterol lowering diet and physical exercise. For those unable to meet their lipid lowering goals through such methods, statins can be helpful. Next is vitamins. A vitamin is an organic molecule that is an essential micronutrient which an organism needs in small quantities for the proper functioning of its metabolism. Essential nutrients cannot be synthesized in the organism either at all or not in sufficient quantities and therefore must be obtained through the diet. Vitamins are classified as water soluble vitamin or fat soluble vitamin. There are 13 kinds of vitamins in the human body. Four kinds of fat soluble vitamins that are A, D, E and K and nine kinds of water soluble vitamins. Among these eight kinds of vitamin are B and one is vitamin C. Currently there are some vitamins that are almost exclusively produced by the microorganisms such as vitamin B2 and vitamin B12. Vitamin C and A are produced both chemically and microbiologically and certain other such as vitamin D, vitamin K, vitamin B3, B5 have at least one or more microbial enzymatic step. Probiotic bacteria they are the members of the gut microbiota. They are able to synthesize vitamin K and most of the water soluble vitamin B such as biotin, cobalamin, folates, nicotinic acid, pantotheric acid, pyridoxine, riboflavin, thiamine in humans. Yeast manufacture vitamin B complex. For example, for commercial production of vitamin B12, cobalamin, bacteria and actinomyces like streptomyces, olivaceous and bacillus megatherium are used. Next is steroids. Steroids are the man-made version of chemicals. They are known as hormones that are made naturally in the human body. Steroids are designed to act like these hormones to reduce inflammation. They are also known as corticosteroids and are different to anabolic steroids that are used by the bodybuilders and athletes. Steroids have two principal biological functions as important components of cell membrane which alter membrane fluidity and as signaling molecules. Now let's discuss microbes in household food processing. Microbes play a very important role in food industry. They influence the availability, quality and quantity of our food. Microorganisms are used to change one substance to another which is used as 
food such as milk to yogurt, curd, buttermilk and cheese, sugar to wine and bread. Fermented dairy products. Fermented milk is produced by inoculating pasteurized milk with specific culture of microorganisms. The different fermented dairy products including yogurt and cheese. Now first discuss yogurt or curd or lassi or buttermilk. These are the dairy products which are produced by the bacterial fermentation of milk. Most commonly cow's milk is used though it can be made from any kind of milk. They can be prepared from a variety of milk including whole, skimmed, dried, evaporated or semi-skimmed milk. The milk sugar that is lactose is fermented into lactic acid by the friendly bacteria known as Streptococcus salivaris or Streptococcus thermophilus and Lactobacillus bulgaricus. These bacteria are collectively known as lactic acid bacteria or LAB. The acid causes the coagulation of milk protein casein into a solid mass that is called curd. The gel like texture and taste of yogurt is due to the fermentation of lactose to lactic acid. Lassi or buttermilk is an acidulated beverage which is produced by inoculating skimmed milk by bacteria like Streptococcus lactis and Leuconostoc citrovorum at about 22 degrees Celsius. It is consumed either salty or sweet. Salty lassi is usually flavored with ground roasted cumin and black pepper powder while the sweet variety is served with lemon, mango or other fruit juice. Next is production of cheese. It is a nutritive product produced by cuddling and ripening of the milk with a starter culture containing specific microorganisms. Cuddling is done by bacterial strains like Streptococcus citrovorum while the ripening of solid curd is done by different bacterial strains which provide characteristic texture, flavor and taste to cheese. It is made from the milk of various animals, most commonly cows, milk from goat, sheep, reindeer and water buffalo may also be used. There are about 400 types of cheese. Cheese is a very nutritious food. Its composition is 20 to 35 percent protein, 20 to 30 percent fat and a small quantity of minerals. Fermentation of milk leads to lactic acid production which stores the milk. This leads to coagulation of milk protein, casein. The solid part of the milk produced by the coagulation is known as the curd and the liquid which is known as the whey. The curd can be separated and pressed into desired shape and whey is used as food source for yeast which in turn can be processed as cattle feed and is rich in protein and vitamins. The cheese can be matured or ripened by the addition of bacteria or fungi or both. The bacteria added reduce the pH, alters texture and develops a flavor. Coagulation can be controlled using rennet tablets which contains the enzyme renin. Coagulation can also be done using acids such as vinegar or lemon juice. Depending upon the nature of the organism added, ripening process, cheese is of the following types. First is cheddar cheese. It is prepared by the addition of bacteria to enhance its flavor and texture. Second is Roquefort that is known as blue cheese. It is ripened by the use of mold fungi Pancelium roqueforti which provide the specific flavor to it. Next is the combination of both bacteria and fungi produces camembert cheese. Next is Swiss cheese. It is prepared by the addition of Propionibacterium charmini. The big holes in the cheese are because of the production of large amount of CO2. 
the natural color of cheese ranges from off white to yellow herbs and spices may also be added to the cheese next is butter butter is made by churning the cream which has been soured by lactic acid bacteria other fermented foods some important food produced in whole or in part by microbial fermentation they are pickles sausages etc different microorganisms are added to specific stages of food production to produce the desired effect dosa and idli are produced by anaerobic bacterial fermentation of rice during which co2 is evolved which causes the doing of the raw material next is bread it is used in baking industry bread is prepared by adding baker's yeast that is known as saccharomyces cerevisiae to wheat flour the enzyme zyme is complex or amylase maltase and zymase they are secreted by the yeast cell digest food that contains sugars and minerals yeast is used to make bread when yeast is added to raising flour and water carbon dioxide is produced which gets trapped in the dough prepared from the flour the dough rises and bread is made which is soft and porous the flour is usually made from wheat and contains starch starch is the energy source for the yeast the flour also contains a protein called gluten which forms sticky stretchy threads as the yeast works on the sugar the threads trap the carbon dioxide and make the dough rise well so dear learners there is a large number of microbes which help to make our life more comfortable lively healthy and keep our planet clean they are used for making life saving drugs antibiotics vaccines vitamins hormones etc they are also used in manufacturing of biofuels cleaning up pollution sewage treatment producing processing food and drinks they play an important role to produce pigments solvents organic acids enzymes biofertilizers bio pesticides etc microorganisms have a key role in the production of alcoholic beverages dairy products and bakery products certain bioactive molecules like steroids vitamins hormones enzymes statins and cyclosporin a etc are the product of microorganisms my dear learners in this session we discussed microbes in organic acids amino acids organic solvents in enzymes in the formation of bioactive molecules like in household food processing also in the next session we will discuss microbes as pollution control agents and microbes for sewage treatment in detail thank you